Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wednesdays with We. I'm here with a few people in our industry that I'm so excited were able to join us today. One of them, Jennifer from our advisory board. Hello, Jennifer. Hello there. Thanks for attending. Sure. And Diane Sweeney from our marketing communications. Hi, Diane. Hey, happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. And then we have um, Allison Budbarson. Uh, thank you for, joy for joining us today. Hi, thank you. Yay. So I wanted to say it's really nice to see you ladies. Um, this is one example of us pulling in our members. So Allison is a member of WE and just had a great discussion topic. So we brought her on today to, to talk. And Jennifer, you're on our um, board. And Diane, you're part of our team for a long time now. So this is great for us all to be able to come together and talk about important issues. So this all came about, Jennifer, we were just talking recently about, mm -hmm. you know, what's important moving forward. So we have done things a certain way in our industry. Um, things are looking different now. There's some new normals. So anyway, just with that, I just felt like there was some really rich conversation that came as a result of kind of discussing some of these topics. So I don't know, what, what do you think of that, Jennifer? Like, what are your thoughts on what we need to do moving forward? Well, it's funny because Allison and I were just talking the other day. I don't even know why I would checked in on her and so, about something. And um, we were just talking the other day and I said, you know, what's important moving forward, right? I mean, what are the things that business owners are having to deal with now to get ready for the future? And, and I think there are so many things that people from the outside of, uh, on, of the manufacturing world or outside of the business owner's perspective that they don't necessarily see. And, um, I think for Allison and her company, you know, I'll let her, obviously she'll speak to this, but I think it's just, it's so hard to just keep people safe and, you know, keep the company profitable and all these things. So from there, I don't know, we were just kind of talking and I asked her if she would join us and I think it's a great topic. And so Allison, you want to throw some things in there that kind of what you're thinking about this? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe that there's uh, there's a lot of pressure for business owners and, and people in leadership positions right now to manage the expectations of our customers and our industry, along with the expectations uh, and critical needs of our employees. You know, I spend, uh, I spend a lot of time thinking uh, about how to protect my employees. Um, and sometimes that means, um, you know, not everybody is going to get what they want when they want it as far as a deliverable to a customer. But, um, I, you know, it's, it's more important to make sure that our doors stay open and our employees stay safe. If I can get something to a customer tomorrow instead of today, but that means that everyone's protected, I think that that's really uh, the important part of what we need to do for our industry as a whole. And uh, I think I've been, I've been pleasantly surprised to uh, get feedback from our customers and people in industry that they are receptive to that message as well. It's interesting, isn't it, Allison, that, that people are all of a sudden recognizing the softer skills, right, that very often women bring to the party. And, you know, I don't think that we've been confident enough always to talk about these kinds of issues, but I see it more and more that they're looking for the women leaders to, to take this step up and say, we need to think about how people are dealing with this at home. Yeah. You know, we don't like to have kids at home all day when you're trying to work remotely and having to bring so many different people together and collaborate, right? And, and collaboration is a great skill. I think of women that sometimes we don't use it as much as we want to, but I think we can. And I know, Jackie, you and I have talked about this before, that, that sometimes people are, you know, not interested in everybody can win and everybody can play a part and that everybody can come together as a team. But to, Allison, to what you're talking about and Jennifer, we need to work together. Well, you know, right. I, and I think too that, um, oh, I'm sorry. I think one well, no, of the points too that I would want to make is that some of the companies they are coming up with new policies, just exactly what you just said, Diane. So instead of, say, maternity leave, it's caregiver leave, you know, these kinds of things. And what kind of resources can companies, what kind of best practices are there out there that 
companies can share and not just keep it within their organization if something's working really well. I don't know, Jennifer, what do you think? Um, yeah, I think I think that collaboration uh, in the world right now is, I think it's going to be a necessity moving forward. There's going to be so many things that change, right? So many different things. And I keep saying this, right? There's going to be so much innovation that comes from this and so much growth yeah. and so many, so many changes in our world that we don't even have any, or our industry. We have no idea what those are yet. And so if you can collaborate and you can share those ideas with other people, um, I think it's super helpful. Um, I want to add something though too that I think is interesting, Diane, that you were saying from a woman's perspective and leadership and the soft points. You know, the thing that I think is really interesting from a woman's perspective is I think we have a little bit sometimes stronger intuition. And so I think it's easier for us to have a conversation and say, but you know what, you don't always know what somebody else is going through, right? And you don't always understand what's hard for somebody else you know, and so I think it's easier for us to kind of open that, that channel, that conversation about like, why don't you soften up a little bit because you don't know what other people are going through. Like Allison, maybe one of your customers, oh, it's late. Well, so here's why it's late. Can yeah. we talk about that, right? Can we soften this up and have that conversation? I think we're better at that or not better. We're good at that, right? That's a better way to put it. We're really good at that. Well, it's interesting too, isn't it? Because I don't know about you guys, but are you starting to hear men saying, it, I, I hear a baby in the background. Do you guys need to, pray? you know, and they're, they're being a little bit sensitive. I'm like, what, <laughs> you know, and, and it's not just uh, us anymore. So it's, it's kind of an equalizer. I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great equalizer, Diane. It's such a good point. And Allison, I'm just curious from you, like, what are some best practices you're doing at your company um, that you could share with others that maybe, you know, it's working well at this time and her, her video just went away, but maybe she's still audio. Her best practice is her kids crying and she's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. And I don't know, Diane, I mean, TE is such a progressive big company. They might have, you know, some type of best practices. You know, I think the thing I'm most proud of, and I suppose it's a best practice, is we were so ready to work remotely. Mm -hmm. We have this very large customer care organization, like hundreds of people. And within a week, they were 464 people around the world were working from home. So I thought that was about being prepared. And look, we've got Allison back. So <laughs> yes, and this is such a good point is it's flexibility. So this just, I think this is perfect. We only have like another minute, but I, I think, you know, Allison's video is going on and off, but that's part of working remote. Yep. Sometimes yep. these things happen. I think you can't like, you can't let it trip you up. You have to just go right. with it. So right. Allison, I'll ask you now, since you're back <laughs> on, because we're just going to go with the flow here. Um, what are some best practices from your company that you could share that have worked well? Diane was saying from TE, they were so set up and they were kind of looking forward and a little bit prepared, but what, what do you think that you could share on behalf of your company? Well, I can say that we're doing absolutely everything that we can to try to make sure that employees that have to come in and physically touch product are well taken care of. So we've instituted you know, everything that we've been hearing about as far as uh, wiping down workstations twice per shift, everybody has a mask. We purchased uh, cloth masks for everyone to wear. Um, everyone is getting their temperature taken at the beginning of their shift. Um, but more than that, too, I think that one thing that I realized was a struggle that I wasn't necessarily anticipating was the uh, dynamic between people that are working from home exclusively and people that are still on site in the manufacturing um, uh, mm. shop floor. And just really trying to feel the communication gap between those two people. Mm. At first it wasn't a big deal, but as time has gone on, I've seen that become more yeah. and more of an issue. And you know, it's easy, it's easy to misconstrue a text message or an email when someone's under yeah. pressure. And I just keep telling people, pick up the phone, pick up the phone, let's call, let's get on FaceTime, let's have a conversation because going back and forth in email just can, it doesn't get us where we want to be. So I would say that that's something that has been, um, I didn't necessarily see it as an issue, but 
being open to being flexible to different methods of communication than we may normally use in a situation mm -hmm. like this is really important too. So pick up the phone. Well, that's a good Allison, one. you are ending on such a critical <laughs> note and I, you're preaching to the choir here because I keep shouting that as people call, call, call because too many important things, Diane knows we're working on a website right now, which is a complete nightmare remotely, <laughs> but there are, there's certain times you need to pick up the phone and call because people get a little irritated. They see something on an email and they kind of take it like you were short or whatever it was. And it's like, I'm just trying to relay the information. So I think in general, in business, we've gotten away from the phone calls, but maybe this is the equalizer to kind of bring us around again to when you are feeling that feeling of things are feeling disconnected, just pick up the phone and straighten yeah. it out. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. This was really, really fun and I'm glad you were able to make it. And I hope that all this information was beneficial for everyone. So have a great day. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.